this little girl back here who's my newest girl and her name is Gladriel. And look at her shell. How amazing is that shell? So she's another Margi and she's actually Arcacatina Marginata Egregia, whereas my other ones are Ovums. So anyone that knows me knows that I'm ugh. So anyone that knows me knows that I'm a massive Lord of the Rings fan. Can you see this? Yeah, so I've got Frodo and Sam so far. I wanted to call them Naz and Ghoul, but my youngest kid did not understand what that meant, so they're sticking with Frodo and Sam. And this one is Galadriel. So we had too many boys in this house. It was a bit of a sausage fest, so yeah, we needed a girl, and this is my girl. And she is the prettiest little girl in the world. Look at that little shell. And she's super, super active as well, which is great. As soon as we had her, I opened up the um, box and she was like straight out where the other ones whenever I had them they they'd be cutched up for ages afterwards but not she wanted to come and see her mama so yeah I made some calci cakes for my snails and I made that out of some leftover oyster shell flakes now I usually use these in their substrate and some calcium carbonate I was going to show you what I made them into because I made them into little molds and I use little mice like the little white chocolate mice used to get when you were kids and his head come off so I can't really show you him but he was a cute little mouse and I also made some little love hearts too See? uh yeah so these snails when they're first born they eat um their shell and they do this obviously it's full of calcium and it helps them to strengthen their shell as soon as they're born and obviously gives them a little bit of a reserve so after that then they're gonna have to source out their calcium supply um externally that will be in the form of having a nice calcium rich substrate so again like i said with the oyster shell flakes and they need like some cuttlefish bone or obviously these calci cakes in there for them to have a little nibble on that way then you're not gonna get the broken shells and the deform you know the deformities you can get and stuff from a calcium deficiency so this one here has obviously been looked after very, very well by the breeder, as of the other ones that I've got from the breeder as well. Their shells are absolutely immaculate. So yeah, if you want to find out how to make these, then just carry on watching, I suppose. All right, so let's get cracking. Um, all I'm going to be using is some triple washed oyster shell flakes from Bugs and Bits. That's where I normally get most of my supplies and calcium carbonate. So this mixture is going to be a 80-20 mixture, 80% calcium carbonate and 20% oyster shell flakes. And all I'm going to do is weigh out what I need and mix it with a little bit of water, pop it into some of these moulds and let them dry for about day two days, see how they are then. This is the first time I've made them so I'm not quite sure how long I'll actually leave them for to dry. So so I'm going to be making 500 grams worth. So for 80% calcium carbonate, I'm going to be using 400 grams of the calcium. And 100 grams of the triple washed oyster shell flakes. I'm just going to give it a little mix. Probably should have used a bigger bowl. I'm going to start adding a little bit of water, a bit at a time. Let's see if I can make it into a paste. I think that might be okay. No idea. We'll soon find out in a couple of days' time when it's all dried out. Right, so. Got these ones. And these ones. So I'm just going to pop it in the mold.
So I've just brought them outside so they can dry. Um, I also forgot to mention that you can grind up some cuttlefish and pop that in as well, but mine will be having that anyway, so I'm just sticking with the calcium carbonate and the oyster shells for this one. So yeah, if you are enjoying these little videos that I'm putting up, um, I know they're only African land snail based at the moment, but I've also got a um, mantis and I've got some more mantises coming and I want to try and make a little video for them and also obviously my fish. But I've been holding back on that because I'm pretty crap when it comes to filming the fish tanks. Um, it doesn't help when I've got kids running up to the glass, smacking the glass and smudging all the glass as well. So yeah, I've got to try and find a nice peaceful time to try and sit down and actually take some decent pictures and clips of my bedders and my little community tank and also my aquatic snails. I can't forget them either. So I also want to say a massive thank you to everyone that actually bothered to watch my first video, um, as bad as it was. But yeah, thanks to like all 200 odd of you. I'm blessed. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, and things should get better the more I do this. It's quite hard to picture the, you know, the people that you're supposed to be interacting with, the people who are watching your videos. So yeah, anyway, I'm just trying to get used to that. Um, so please bear with me. And yeah, thanks for the support, basically. So like I said, if you are enjoying these and you'd like to see some more in the coming months, then please subscribe, I suppose. And yeah, definitely head over to my Instagram because that's where I seem to be a lot more active at the moment. Um, I've got so many pictures of my snails on there and I'm actually losing a couple of followers, I think, because I've got so many pictures of snails. That's probably because I've got them like sliming all up my neck and stuff, but there we are. Like it or lump it. I will give you a little sneak peek, I think, of my mantis enclosure he's a little bit small at the moment so i haven't popped him in here that's it oh <gasps> so what i'm planning on doing with this is it can kind of get out through here so i'm gonna hot glue some fine insect mesh on like the roof of there and i'm gonna take a panel these look like they just easily slip out so i'm gonna take one of these panels off that's all gonna be insect mesh as well and just make sure there's no like there's a little gap running along here i'm gonna have to do something with that Add in some substrate um, and his little hygrometer. And yeah, that's going to be for my spiny flower mantis. I've got some more coming as well. So I'm desperately trying to find an orchid. But that's proven quite difficult at the moment. And I'm just going to grab probably a ghost mantis as well. 